Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm gonna to talk about the best and worst tools from Bauer. As a lot of my subscribers know, I'm heavily invested in this tool line. And just to put it right out there up front, uh, I am still happy with this tool line. There are just some tools that underperform and that need some improvements. So uh, this is just to be honest and talk about uh, what I think of the Bauer line so it's not always just good stuff because there are some things that need improvement. And then also just to give some feedback to Harbor Freight because I know they cruise through YouTube YouTube looking for uh, customer and user feedback on their tools and so that is what I'm doing here with this video. Let's dive right into it. All right, so we're gonna start with the bad, and that is air quotes. These aren't necessarily terrible tools. They just underperform in my opinion, or they just need a better version put out on them, or something to that effect. It's not necessarily to say that they are bad or terrible tools. So with these grinders to start here, these perform, in my opinion, very much like other brushed angle grinders from other brands. You get into brushless, you're talking about a significantly better grinder. So hopefully Bauer will come out with a brushless cordless cordless angle grinder in the near future. I'd definitely be interested in picking that up. With that being said, I do feel like these uh, perform a little bit worse than some of the other brands. For example, I would pretty much say the best cordless brushed motor angle grinder I've ever used is the DeWalt. They definitely don't work as good as that DeWalt. Um, I would say they're just right around in the same par as the Milwaukee that I used to have. They are not bad tools. They are just not great tools. And they, like I said, could be a little bit better. Now to talk about them specifically, uh, there's a lot of reasons why the second generation is better. I would say mostly ergonomically it's significantly better than the first generation. And then it does have a little bit better performance, I think, in my opinion. But they are not bad grinders. We just need better grinders. I would say that they are, just in summary, pretty typical of cordless brush motor angle grinders. All right, so the half inch impact from Bauer is kind of an infamous tool from all the uh, Harbor Freight Facebook groups and things I'm a part of. This tool Tool does not really have that great of a reputation. I would say that I like the way it looks. It looks like a good quality tool. It is kind of a big old monster of an impact wrench, but it just doesn't perform. Now I would say one of the biggest issues with this that I found is that it says for, it has 450 foot pounds a breakaway torque and uh, I'm not sure where they're getting that number but that has not been my experience at all. I've taken the lug nuts off of my truck with this. Actually the first generation I've not actually used the second generation to take the lug nuts off but I've seen that the the second generation has the same reputation that the first did and that is just that it does not perform super well. It struggled to take the lug nuts off of my truck that are torqued to about 140 foot pounds. So they're way over exaggerating that 450 foot pound rating on this. Maybe I'm not sure where they're getting it from. Maybe I shouldn't be so quick to say that they're over exaggerating it, but it is just not the case in either of the versions that I've owned. It is definitely an underperforming tool in the Bauer lineup. Is that to say it's a bad tool again? It's really not bad. It does eventually take off the lug nuts of my half ton pickup truck and it does it uh, reasonably snappy I would say. It does, it's not just right away they're off. It does take a little bit of work for it to break them loose. I wouldn't say I love it, but I wouldn't say I hate it either. For me being a DIY guy, you've got to find where your usage is going to be. What I recommend this tool you know, little mini review here, I guess. Would I recommend this tool to a professional mechanic? Absolutely not. I don't think that it would perform well enough in a mechanic's shop. Now for a DIY guy like me that just needs an impact occasionally, where I uh, do work on my truck here and there, um, and then I do a lot of small engine stuff, which I rarely ever need a half inch impact for small engine stuff. It works fine. I can deal with a little bit of underperformance, but I would like to see a better half inch impact come out from Harbor Freight. I don't even know that the thing even needs to be a brushless half inch impact. I just think that they need to change something inside of here to actually get it up to that 450 foot pounds if it's possible, I'm not an engineer, but it is definitely an underperforming tool in my opinion. So before we get into the good stuff, I wanna just say real quick that everything that didn't really make this list, I would just have to say pretty much performed as expected. So uh, one of the things I've been really impressed with and I've done a couple of little jobs off camera with the circular saw, and I'd have to say that this is one of the really impressive tools that Bauer has. The circular saw is uh, definitely powerful enough and it just works really well. I would say every bit is the M18 Milwaukee brushed motor Cirque saw that they had. It's a good saw. Um, I don't have a whole lot to rant and rave about it 
It is even the first generation. It kind of has the cheaper looking plastic with the kind of off red than the newer stuff has. Uh, but I, I really am happy with this tool and I don't even know that they need to even change it other than maybe to kind of more match the scheme of the second generation of tools. But uh, really good performing tool, definitely worth the money. So this reciprocating saw, I'll probably call it a sawzall a few times throughout the video. It's just a habit. Uh, really, really surprised me uh, when I first started using it right out of the box. It's a really good looking tool. Lots of nice uh, rubber over molding for protecting the tool and then a lot of power and just a good all around reciprocating saw. I've done quite a bit of work with it, mostly cutting tires, kind of an unexpected job for a Sawzall, but I've been cutting a lot of tires with it. I would just say in general, it's one of the really good high performing tools in the Bauer lineup and I've been really happy with it so far. Sorry for the purposes of this video, you're only gonna get a portion of this tool, but it's the cordless string trimmer. I've gotta say, I've been totally thrilled with the performance of this tool. And this is one of, some of what I'm basing this off of is I kind of dinked around with my dad's 20 volt black and decker cordless string trimmer. And I have to say that that thing was definitely below mediocre. It was a substandard tool. When I got this Bauer and I went and tried it for the first time, I tried the Black & Decker first just because I wanted to see if I would even be interested in the string trimmer. I thought, well, the Black & Decker works. I'll check out the Bauer. This thing is really impressive. Tons of power. Uh, it cuts through really, really thick, heavy, even wet grass really well. And uh, I've just been totally happy with the performance of it. It's a great tool. I'm not saying it's like professional grade or anything, but for around the house, small yards, it does a great job. I'm really happy with it. It's, it's a solid tool and I definitely would pick it up as well if you were in the Bauer line. So I got a couple of honorable mentions here on the table. Uh, one is just the little air pump. The other is the quarter inch impact. Good tools, but I'm not really gonna talk about them. I'm gonna just give you something to look at here as I blabber through the rest of this video. So I really do like the Bauer line. I'm a DIY guy. I'm not showing up to work with these every single day on a job site. I think that they are a good quality tool for a DIY person. I'm not comparing them to DeWalt or Milwaukee or Makita. I'm not saying go throw those in the trash and pick up Bauer. I don't think that they are necessarily, you know, tool for tool on par with Milwaukee or those other brands, but it's not priced there whatsoever. These are over a third the cost of a lot of the Milwaukee tools, depending on what you pick up. Some are a little less. A lot of them are a lot more than a third less. And they are at the very least decent performing, decent quality tools that look good. I've had a lot of questions of why I didn't get into Ryobi. Basically, as dumb as that might sound to a lot of people, I didn't go to Ryobi because I can't stand the color scheme. I like the color scheme of Bauer. Makes me happy, you know, let me do my own thing. You know, you can be happy with your green Ryobi tools if you want to. I'm not trying to say that you made a bad decision there. I'm just saying that I like the Bauer tools. They're worth your time looking at and they are a very good option for DIYers. If you got the extra money and you wanna pick up Milwaukee tools cause you got income to burn, go ahead and pick up the best. I think that's cool. You know, I'd like to do that too in some ways, but in other ways I try to be a little bit more practical and have a line that I can afford to expand like the Bauer line because it's cheap enough. And I say cheap, it's inexpensive enough to buy a lot of the tools. For example, I am pretty sure that this thing is 15 or 20 bucks. It's a $19.99 and it's really hard to beat that price for a cordless air pump. It comes in handy all the time. I don't have to lug around my air compressor. I don't have to drag out a big hose. It's a really good tool and option for a guy like me that does a lot of different tasks. In that realm of things, I think even professionals could consider them depending on what they do and are worth taking a look at. So thanks everybody for watching. If you'll go down and click the big thumbs up for me on this video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're not subscribed, go click subscribe down in that area of the screen. I'd also really appreciate it if you did that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.